Hi friends. I had a crazy idea yesterday that I just thought I would share, which is that um, I was thinking how like if you if you run a, a an online company, you can be based anywhere, right? And I know a lot of people. Uh, maybe you yourself are running a, a, a digital company that you can run anywhere in the world, and you. I know a few people who are living a nomadic life doing that. That's awesome. And I was just wondering if, um, if you run a bigger company, if you sort of expand and you know want to take a, you know, tribe with you, you know, um, how you can make it nomadic and, and keep it dynamic, you know. Um, there are some companies that have a distributed workforce where, and they say you can be based anywhere in the world, and we're going to do everything virtually. And I think that's that's cool. That can work. But I was, I was wondering, how do you, you know, maintain that kind of the cool thing about personal interaction, like just being in the same two room together, which is really powerful, and still get to be a little bit nomadic. And I was thinking, what if you you um, just move the whole company regularly? You know, I guess everyone would have to be on board. It would have to be. You know, people would have to be really into that. <laughs> but if you said, "Hey, every three months we're going to move the company," you know, um, it would be logistically, legally, accounting probably really tough. But I, I think it would be worth it. I think if you, if um, yeah, you had you had adventurers and mavericks on your team who would be into that, it would be an awesome way to run a company. Spend uh, three months. Um, in in Singapore and then three months in Barcelona and then uh, three months in uh, New York um, and you have to move the whole company you have to move everything and I guess that that would mean maybe you would just rent out like co-working space for the company you know obviously it'd be easier if you're if you're relatively small um, but I think it would be possible even if you get bigger you just have to have the commitment to dedicate a huge amount of resources to doing that and and I guess you would lose other things you know you would lose the ability to always control what resources you have access to and, and things like that and that would be a trade-off um, but yeah I think that would be would be a really interesting way to to lead an organization so if you've heard of something similar I would love to hear it um, and I would also I also love to hear other crazy ideas for running a, a company I just I was just reading about uh, Holacracy, which is a, um, a way of running a distributed organization where you don't have a CEO and things like that. It's pretty interesting. And yeah, there's lots of alternative organization models, um, which I, I find really fascinating. Like, I think we need to think about more explicitly like how we structure an organization when we create it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.